Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about QuickBooks Online and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you change the currency in your QuickBooks account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to change the currency in your QuickBooks? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're just getting started out on QuickBooks, you know that sometimes the currency is not correct for your particular situation. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks Online. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my QuickBooks account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you wanna change the currency for your QuickBooks Online, you wanna click on this gear icon here on the top right. Once you do that, you're gonna see a drop down menu and you wanna look for this column right here called your company and then click on account and settings. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see more information about your company. However, in order to change the default currency, here on the left, you want to click on advanced. All right, once you do that, you're going to see this drop down menu. And in order to change the currency, look for this line right here currency. And you can see it's home currency. Mine is US dollars. And all you're going to do is just click on the little pencil next to it. Once you do that, you can go ahead and change the currency. Now, one thing I want to let you know, it's only going to change the currency symbol. It's not going to change the amount on each transaction that you already entered. So you'll need to go back and edit those. So for example, if I change to the Hong Kong dollar, all future transactions would be recorded in Hong Kong dollars. Also, previous transactions will change to Hong Kong dollars. However, the amount is not going to change and they do warn you about that right here. So once you've chosen the currency, you want to go ahead and click on save. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to change the currency in your QuickBooks online, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.